Hello everybody, it's me, Sulema. Today we are in my studio. This is my little craft box. And we're gonna do a scrapbook page using a sketch. Here's the one that I picked for today. It has five pictures that we need for the sketch and four pieces of journaling and the title goes right here. If you notice, there is a line across the sketch on the bottom and that will be an extra piece of paper to make it a different color for a border. So, do you have your pictures ready? Let's get started. So these are the papers that I picked for today's class. We have the two pieces of scrapbook paper, 12 by 12. And these are just leftover papers that I have to um, matter my pictures so they can be all different colors. So let's get started. Uh, here's the scrapbook sheets that I need for the background. And then right here on the bottom there's a line going all the way across and to me that means that we're gonna need a second piece of paper to put uh, a border under our pictures there you go that's what it says right there see this piece over here it's our border right here so now we need five pictures two in one sheet and three in the other sheet so I picked pictures from my son's Tristan's birthday he loves uh, remote control cars, so he went to build a car and he got to pick all the pieces, the wheels, the, um, the color of the vehicle, everything that he needed was there for him to build his own car. So here we go. There. Okay. So now we need to make sure we leave room for our journaling pieces. We need four, two on one side and two on the other one. If you don't have any journaling tags like this one, this one has lines already in it and it has the borderline and everything, then you can make your own out of a plain sheet of scrapbook paper. Or if you don't like to do journaling, you can have a sticker or like a stamp and put it on your scrapbook sheet. There we go. So I'm going to set this down here. Not like so. And then if you notice, it calls for the journaling tag and, and a square and a circle. So instead of putting two journaling tags, because I don't journal a lot, I'm going to put a little journal space here and then like a sticker or something just to um, decorate my page like this so this page is already all set up so I'm going to start gluing everything down I'm gonna try and remember you're at home you're gonna have time to put more glue in it Right now, I'm just gonna put a little bit so it will hold all my pictures in place. There. There. And if you wanna have some more fun with your pictures, you can use scrapbook paper from the bottom to put more color on your page. You can grab your picture, glue it on your piece of paper, like so and then cut all the way around it to give the picture an outline so there you go see at this this way you can have more design and colors on your page and it will make it look better So far, this is what we have. Here, this journaling tag, it looks too big for me in this page. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get it and cut it in half. Because believe me, I will not need that much journaling. There we go, I'm gonna put it right here. 
there. Now I'm going to put my circle right here. Now I use the same tag and the other uh, scrapbook sheet. Like the sketch says. We need journaling in each side of the, of the pages. Now here towards the center. There we go. And then you can decorate as much as you want. You can put different little things like tags and embellishments and stickers. I love stickers. They make my life a lot easier. Here we go. So instead of putting two journaling tags, I gotta put a sticker and a journaling tag. And from then I gotta start decorating all my page. Like so. These are three-dimensional stickers. There. There you go. Oh, this one. I have to glue this one down just a bit. So they will move in the end. Right here. So we are almost done. There we go. Get a little glue right here. Put glue on our papers. Remember, at home you're gonna have time to put a lot of glue on your projects to make sure they don't come apart in the end. So, right now, because of the video purposes, I'm just putting minimum of glue to stick all the pieces together. This is very basic instruction on how to scrapbook using a sketch. Right here we have our sketch page and here's our uh, final project. And as you can see, everything was done very simple, nothing fancy, no going and spending a lot of money and materials. You can scrapbook and still stay on a budget. And this is our finished pages. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the class for today, and we'll see you until next time. Bye.